Hi, this is Dennis Madden with Edina Realty. Today I'd like to talk to you about if you're thinking about buying a home this spring, what you should be doing now. Three key topics we're gonna break out here are getting pre-approved, interviewing and choosing a realtor, and establishing a comprehensive strategy for finding and winning the home of your choice. Let's go ahead and get into it. have heard that this is a very busy market we're going into and it certainly is now more than ever I would suggest that you get pre-approved uh, if you're thinking about buying a home this spring loan officers are always busy this time of year that's even more true this year with the all-time low interest rates so right now loan officers have a lot of buyers contacting them because they want to buy houses uh, the spring market's already underway so those loan officers right now have files are in the process of moving towards closing. In addition to that, pretty much everybody that they've ever financed right now wants to refinance. So if you talk to a loan officer or if I talk to a loan officer about a client, I can just about guarantee you the first thing they're going to say is, hey, please go to my website and fill out my online application. It doesn't have to have every single detail, you know, just the key stuff, your current employer, your income, things like that. You can work on filling in the details, but give the loan officer something to look at so when you do contact that loan officer and talk to him, you can have the most productive conversation possible. The other reason to get pre-approved is that it establishes your max buying power. Uh, it helps you crystallize in your mind the relationship between the price of a home and what you're actually going to be paying for that house on a monthly basis. It's going to help you start understanding the difference between you know having an association fee and not having an association fee and how that impacts the affordability of a home. It's just a very good idea to be able to translate home price into what does that mean for me for a monthly payment. You know, there is several parts of a monthly payment. Sometimes when I talk to buyers, especially first time home buyers, I know when I was a first time home buyer, you know, I thought, hey, my loan payment, that's my, I'm gonna be paying the loan back. So that's your principal and your interest. You also have other monthly expenses that are gonna be paid with your monthly mortgage payment. Principal, you'll have interest, you'll have taxes, you'll have homeowner's insurance. Many of you will have a monthly mortgage insurance premium, and then some of you will also have an HOA fee. So all those things together comprise your monthly mortgage payment. And the pre-approval process is gonna help you start getting real familiar with these concepts, and like I say, crystallize in your mind what you can actually expect to be paying per month for the home you want and to make adjustments if necessary. Maybe you'll find, hey, you know, I, I can afford more home than, than I thought. A lot of you probably won't want to go all the way to the top of your budget, but it's just a good first step. Next thing I would urge you to do is to interview a realtor and choose one. You may ask yourself in this day and age, why do I need a realtor? Consumers have access to more information in real estate than they've ever had before. Where I really feel I can help uh, is by bringing some perspective to all this information that's out there. If you do something every day, you're bound to kind of find some hacks. I can share those with my clients. Really good idea to choose a realtor. You can access property prices and listings on third-party aggregate sites that uh, take what they can from local multiple listing services and county data and put them in a nice user interface, but it's, it's all secondhand information. It's not gonna be as quick and it's not gonna be as accurate as what I can find on the multiple listing service. Our local multiple listing service is called the North Star Multiple Listing Service. That's the entire Twin Cities region. All the local realtors associations monitor that, they govern it, and there's rules for it and we have to obey them very closely or we get fined a lot of money. Um, I have to pay thousands of dollars a year to have access to the North Star Multiple Listing Service and I wanna share that access with you. I can get you access to the same system that I use and other realtors use to list properties for our clients and to help our clients find them. You know, if you talk to a realtor and they offer that to you, if they're willing to sit down and listen in, in detail what you're looking for, let them go ahead and set up a multiple listing service portal for you. The other thing is, as far as uh, choosing a realtor, it's really a good idea to establish a trusted, well-functioning relationship with a realtor. Sometimes communication style is different, personality styles don't gel. Do yourself a favor, talk to some realtors. Choose a realtor that's gonna guide you through the process. One very practical reason is if you're just out there on your own looking at open houses, uh, you're gonna find you know, probably about five or six or seven times as many homes aren't open to the public. You need to have a realtor request a showing for you. I would strongly advise you to establish a comprehensive strategy on how to find 
and win the house that you want in, in this spring market. So I say win because a lot of price ranges, you can probably bet on running into multiple offers out there. There's a lot of buyers out there that have been looking for houses and looking for a while. So when you go out in this market, you can anticipate that you are going to run into multiple offers. There's a lot of things you can do to give yourself an advantage over other buyers. The strength of your pre-approval letter. Is it a local bank? What's the reputation of, of that lending institution with our local market, with other agents? Is the loan officer local? Can they be reached? How is the communication between your loan officer and your agent? That's a key piece. If the listing agent uh, senses that there's a lack of communication between your agent and the loan officer, and you're in a multiple offer situation, that could potentially cost you the house. Also, there's a lot of things you can do to convey to that listing agent and the seller that yours is the offer they really want. And it's not all about giving them the highest price. There's a lot of other things involved. And I can help you tailor an offer to that seller's specific needs, one that will get noticed over other buyers and give you the best shot of getting the house of your dreams in this competitive spring market. So to wrap things up, getting a pre-approval. It's a great first step, helps you enter the market prepared, and it helps you crystallize an idea of how much a home at a given price is actually gonna cost you. Interviewing and choosing a realtor, you wanna have a nice relationship, a good relationship, with the person who's gonna be guiding you through and representing you and negotiating your behalf on one of the biggest purchases you've ever made, if not the biggest purchase. And finally, establishing a comprehensive strategy for finding and winning the home of your choice. It's a competitive market out there. There's a lot of hacks that I can go through with you on how to make sure that your offer gets noticed by the seller and is the one that they choose. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you wanna sit down and talk in detail about getting into the spring market or any other real estate question you have, please feel free to reach out. You can call me at 651-428-1972 and uh, we can set up a time to chat. All right, thanks for listening and remember, decide on Den.